Hey guys, this is Laurel of the Dabbling Hook. Just water today because it's lovely out. I have hardly been outside today other than going on the deck, taking pictures and blah, blah, blah. But it's gorgeous out and we've definitely gone from chilly, rainy, windy, thunderstormy right into like summer weather. I hope it lasts. Um, it was a little warmer yesterday. We've dropped down about seven degrees. So it's just it's gorgeous out gorgeous. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're having a good Memorial Day You're gonna hear kitchen noises minion too. Anyway um, Yeah, he's gonna be 14 in like three days and I don't know when that happened, but yeah <sighs> Anyway um I was just going to say something I completely forgot. Oh, the lighting. It's a little odd. I was hoping to be able to record out on the deck, but we don't have, um, there's no shade back there. So it's just full sun and I would be like melting in. I love the heat, but I don't need, you don't need to see all the drippies. Um, what else? Oh, and we have... A gazebo a big I think a 12 by 12 gazebo we leave on the deck or we leave the frame on the deck all year long we just take the top off last year we had a lot of windstorms and we were out one day and came back and we found the whole gazebo tipped onto the house blocking the the door to the deck turns out once we straightened it out that we have a few bent frames so that needs to go in the next couple weeks and hopefully we can set up a new one and I will have some shade that I can be out there but it's just too hot so I'm in here I've been trying for about 15 minutes to get the right lighting finally had to turn on the hot light close a couple of the, the shades blah 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 long story longer odd lighting I'm very thirsty today for some reason and even though I told him to not make noise, all I hear is like spoons clanking. <sighs> Children. Okay, what are we talking about today? A mishmash. Um, I am finally, finally really putting effort into <laughs> cleaning my stash or tidying my stash. From since last fall, every time you use things, things fell, you just chuck things back in, um, noises. Um, and I never really put things back where they belong and I just added to it and it's just a bunch on the floor and just so um, I started yesterday with just I decided to go by cubbies or by shelves so I did two cubbies yesterday all my nitpicks yarn and hopefully I'll put pictures on the screen of Um, what I did but two cubbies are down and today I decided to tackle my cakes and I was using my cakes and I thought I was doing pretty well just as I yesterday I did the nitpicks cubbies um, I look a little crooked. Um, so I have 49 skeins of nitpicks um, most of that is nitpicks brava and brava bulky most of it I have, I started writing it down thinking that I'd actually keep track of it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not going to happen. It's too much work. But I have one skein of sport left. I had a few. I have one left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colorways in um, worsted. But in total, 10 between full and partial skins, skeins. All those are skeins. Skeins, 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 whatever it's called. <laughs> um, and my Brava Bulky, I have 25. Most of those full skeins, some partial. And then I have some Mighty Stitch uh, Bulky. Have you tried that? It's really soft. It's the same 80-20 um, makeup as the uh, Thick and Quick but it's, it's really soft. It's really, really soft. 
So I got it. I must have gotten it because I don't buy it usually at full price. I must have gotten it when they were having one of their sales. Um, oh, making sure I'm still on. Yep. And I have four of the super bulky in the Mighty Stitch. And then I have a one that's called Big Cozy. It's a very um, it's a very big roving kind of super bulky yarn. And one skein of Wonder Fluff, which is like a it's like a single ply roving, like a worsted weight. I don't know. It's fluffy. Um, yeah, so I have 49 skeins. I thought I was doing so well, so I really need to do something about that. And then my cakes. Oh, man. My cakes. I thought I was so good. I did add two, four, there's six mandala ombres. Two of those, courtesy of Angelia. But, so I've added to that. And she gave me two skeins of this. Uh... Toasty Sweet in Cup of Custard. I don't know why the name Cup of Custard. It's this with some of this greeny yellow in it. Oh, wow. So, yeah. I'm almost afraid to go through the rest of it. Because I knew I have some Hometown USA. Um, well, Hometown USA, I'm thinking quick. That's for the fall. I use that in a lot of stuff in the fall. I met homespun or hellspun. <laughs> um, I have quite a few of those that I need to use up. I think it's time to make a few more Aminecos out of those. And just some random other stuff. Mm. And my stash of um, wool spun. When they were going out, when they were clearancing it out, I got a few. And I just bought some of the 10 for 10 you saw last time. All right, enough of my woe is me. I have a lot of yarn, and I'm trying to organize it, basically, is what all that means. So, yeah, that's that. I'm really putting in the effort to organize it, to see what I have. I still have some Karen Simply Soft that I don't, I don't go out and buy it, but I didn't realize I still had that much left. And I found some Isaac Mizrahi. It's like a, a chunky version of... Um, Landscape, line brand landscape. I got that. Yeah, I have a lot of yarn. And I just looked over and I saw it when I was putting the uh, nit picks away. One drop behind something, and there it is. So make that 50. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> was that a, bit, a long ramble? It was. I apologize. Um, but I did not buy... I'm very tempted and I keep looking, but I'm holding myself firm right now, right now. The um, Lion Brand Land, that Lion Brand Yarn that's at the Dollar Tree online. I have a feeling I might give in at one point, but so far I'm holding strong. I haven't bought any. So that's that. My escapades. Um, the other thing, just a quick PSA, and this is to nobody in particular, but just a quick PSA. When I do... Um, giveaways or what I'm going to call now random acts of sharing um, yeah random acts of sharing that's what I'm going to do um, I'm only going to do them for a week I don't like the long stretched out thing so if that doesn't interest you then please don't don't um, enter if it's going to be an issue for you and um, Again, not to anybody in particular, but I don't typically, uh, I announce it in whatever the next episode or the episode that I'm due to draw it in, and then it's up to the person to watch and then contact me. The whole purpose of this is to share with the people who actually watch. And I know things happen with people and, um, you know, life, life happens. But just keep in mind that if you do enter, um, check back in the next episode because I only hold it for a week to see whether or not you've won, right? That's my spiel. Um, do I do whips or finish objects? Whips, we'll do whips. Um, 
So my big whip that has been sitting around for God knows how long. Um, oh, okay. So I've done scrap blankets before, and I think a while back I said that I'd used up all my worsted weight scraps. Uh, no, all my super bulky scraps. So that would be this end here. So this is um, Hometown USA. This is an old three-strand project in Red Heart that I was trying to do something, and I ripped it out, so I just um, used it here. But everything here up to up to up to here here and this way it's all super bulky um, mostly hometown USA and uh, thick and quick and then I started um, I ran out of that I'd used up all of that and I started doing um, either three strands or two strands depending on how thick the yarns were um, of worsted weight or a worsted and a bulky and I started adding that um, starting around here so there's all kinds of goodies here some of them could have been like a foot long it depends on at that point if I wanted to actually tie on um, that scrap if I liked it enough or if I just put it in my scrap um, my scrap basket that I use to stuff um, not all my amigurumis, just some, and when I stuff them, I make like a surrounding of the actual fiber fill, and I make a hole in the middle, and that's where I put the, um, the bits. There's less of a chance for it to come out that way. Um, so yeah. So then, since I had finished with all the super bulky, I had used some, um, again, so I started adding it in, and then, ugh, there are all these colors, look at how pretty that, oh, you can't see it because of this crappy lighting. It's not showing up. Ugh, it's so nice out, but it's just not translating on camera at all. So I had to make do. But anyway, so that's my whip. And this is actually going to be for my mother-in-law. I have um, I stopped increasing on one end, and I'm, I made it a little, not quite a rectangle, but um, I added some length to it before I started decreasing on both ends. So that's where I am now, and I have... I still have a good bit to go so both ends are being decreased now so I have pretty much run out of all my um, like acrylic or acrylic blend worsted scraps and super chunky scraps except for this one I'm actually it's white and I'm gonna use it I needed white for something else so I held off I have other scraps in here but they are pretty much wool scrap so I can't add it in here because I just um, yeah wool and then one cotton but all the other scraps I have are pretty much wool and then at some point this is an old blanket I had started seven years ago <laughs> and um, I've used yarn out of it and I'm just too lazy to have to unravel it because they tend to get caught up on each other but I'll eventually use it in here if I need to but I've actually gone in my stash and I have this Red Heart Gumdrop and this Stitch Studio yarn um, paintbrush. And it's an acrylic yarn, but it's a very, um, it's like a very meshy yarn. I've used it in a couple of amigurumis. It takes a lot of patience because it snags like crazy. But I'm just going to put those together and use that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do once I'm, as I'm reorganizing, I'm going to pull out a skein or odd skeins and try to use it in here. But this is very heavy right now. So I did a good bit. I'm going to toss this. So hopefully I don't knock the camera. Oh, I did a good bit on that um, this weekend. So I'm happy about that. My scrap bag, which was overflowing, is now like that. So that's a win. Oh, yeah, you can't be seen. My head's blocking you. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Minions. 
Um, what other whip? I don't, I don't, I don't. There's one I'm working on that I'm not really going to show because I was watching someone else and I saw a shawl and I'm like, oh, I wonder if, and I started making something and I'm on like the third iteration and, um, of how I want it to go. And like I always said, it's nothing rocket science. It's nothing brand new, but it's just my take on something. And I'm just adding a stitch marker to keep it from unraveling. So, <laughs> so yeah, and I'm using that yarn Angelia gave me for this one because I like the drape of it. I've tried it in just, um, what was I doing? I don't know where I put my bag. I tried it in some red heart that I just had laying around and it was too stiff. And then I was doing the first version in, um, I even pulled out extras. But since I've changed my mind, so I love this though, the way it's looking. This is, what is this, scarfy. Some scraps that I had. And I started it, and I kind of changed a little where I was going, so I'm debating if I just should just keep going with that version, or I, oops, I don't want to unravel it, because that scarfy tends to grab onto itself, and that's a pain. Okay, I am so rambling, and this needs to be quick, because they are milling around like crazy. All right, um, where else? What else? A lot of life noises, so. <laughs> um, FOs. FOs, FOs, FOs. So I, this is my third washcloth that I knitted and I totally ran out. I started here, um, ran out, added this. Wow, the light is completely changing what the color is. Ooh. Anyway, I started with this like turquoise. I added this slate blue, which does not show up as slate blue on the screen at all. And then I ran out and this is um, Drops Paris, these two. And then I ran out of that, so I had some, um, the Premier Home Cotton, so I just added that. It's a little thicker, so it made it come out way pointy. So that's the third one, and I like the, the Grandma's without the holes in it, so I didn't do the holes. And then I was watching Sydney of um, Oddment, Oddment and Tweak, and she started crocheting not crocheting she's a crocheter but she started doing knitting stuff and um, i'm always surprised how quick some people take to knitting because it took me three years just to even get the hang of not you know getting through a row without completely like mm. anyway but she's picked it up really quickly and and she was doing the washcloths and she showed one of these and this is just a mini version of it this is the I think it's called Almost Lost Washcloth. There are different versions of it on YouTube because when I made this, this is a mini version that the pattern also has. And I looked at the actual pat the pattern picture. Ooh, I cannot talk. The pattern picture and it had um, the points did not look as curvy as mine. So I did something wrong and then it took me about five minutes after looking at the pattern to realize I missed like two two rows. I did one row wrong and then I forgot to do an additional row so that's the mini version I'm glad I did it with the mini version um, but there are a couple of um, different YouTube tutorials on similar ones like this they're all done just a little differently so if I remember I will put the YouTube tutorial down below um, for that so those are two washcloths done and um, my sister is trying to claim my washcloths although I never offered just saying I know you're watching I didn't offer <laughs> okay so the other thing that I made is for the um, the softy cow hosted by the underground crafter the last pattern was um, a koala no actually no this isn't for that um, I showed those last week the the next one's coming out today and I haven't checked uh, but this is actually from um, the Friendly Red Fox. She had started last year um, doing an A to Z amigurumi pattern, one for each letter of the alphabet. And for some reason, I ended up um, I ended up 
stalling out on Jay on the jellyfish, and I don't know why. Um, I think at the time the, the K hadn't come out yet, and it was taking a while, and I just, I got into fall and completely forgot about it. So I decided to pick it up again, <sighs> as if I need yet another thing, but hers is, I need to catch up, because um, uh, I did the J jellyfish, K, L, M, and N, so there are four other ones that I need to catch up on. Because uh, she just came out with the narwhal. So, this was Kay. The koala. I hope I'm not crooked. I look crooked. On camera because my computer is tilted. But the camera looks a little tilted. But anyway. So, this is the koala. This is Keith the koala. For hers, she used um, worsted, of course. And then she used peep squeak, which I didn't think I had. And then yesterday I looked up and I'm like, oh my god, I have, I bought a, um, a Millen bag and there are three in there. Yeah. And I completely, this is why I need to go and organize my stash. I didn't realize I had that and I wasn't going to go buy anything. So I was looking through my stash, seeing what I could use. And then the Karen Latte Cakes, again, comes in handy because I showed my, um, the cactus that I use it for which works so great and then I'm like yeah why not so I used it in the air are you gonna are you gonna focus just give me nope. I was focusing on the face <laughs> um, anyway I did the inside in Karen Latte cakes and as well as the little fuzzy belly patch but this is Keith and then the um, the scarf, which is also in the pattern, I used some of the Red Heart um, Bright Stripes, I think, is this one. And everything is so blown out because of the stupid light. <laughs> Darn it. Anyway, so that's Keith, and I actually have to make another one. I made him out of um, some of my nitpicks, and I am completely out of this gray, um, bulky so I am actually going to use, I think I have, um, I have Red Hearts, where is it? Um, I have a chunky Red Heart or something or other that I'm going to use, and it's a gray color. I already told her that it's not going to be the same because I ran out of this yarn, so that's that. The other things, as you've seen, that I've been working on, if you follow me on Instagram, is I've been in a bag making mode. <laughs> And no, I am not, um, I'm not stocking my store with bags because I'm basically going through my stash trying to use it up because it's just sitting there. Um, so I'm doing that. And what I, I was watching, um, her name is Taylor, Taylor Lynn. Um, she's a YouTube channel. She crochets, she does craft fairs. I think that's how I found her um because i'm always looking for ideas and i love her setup for her craft fairs but it's not something i'm able to do because i do everything on my own and she um fortunately has the help of her um, her boyfriend who does a lot uh, as far as setting up and all that but i pretty much do everything on my own um if the hubby does come to help me it's just to set up the tent and my last few fairs i've pretty much done it with the help of somebody else there so i do everything on my own but she likes to do little garment bags or little product bags. Um, you just use plain either cotton or whatever yarn and you just sew up a quick drawstring bag. It doesn't have to be lined or anything. So um, I've always had issues with the drawstring area. Um, and especially since this is not lined, I was trying out different ways of doing it. So I have different iterations that are but they're just little product bags, no one will really pay attention. And what I did is I bought, she also on her channel talked about, um, she has a stamp with her name on it. And she got it from rubberstamps.net and actually went and ordered one. Um, it was fairly cheap to do. Um, you do have to get your ink, obviously, but she just stamps her logo on the bag. So I did that with mine. That one came out a little better. 
But yeah, so this is just some muslin I had. I bought ages ago to do something. I don't even remember what. So I just um, cut different sizes of what I had. And I just found a little more that, that I have that I didn't realize I had. So I'm just making little, um, little muslin bags. So I have four right now, different sizes. And it'll just be to put like... Um, Maybe an octo, you know, if it's a an extra cute little kid or something, or somebody extra nice who buys something, I will put that in there. Um, I just usually use uh, just white, little white bags that I have my stamp on it as well. Uh, but these would be nice for those extra little special orders or people who, who are extra nice because not everyone can be so nice when they um, come to your booths and stuff, so... Uh, hopefully I can get a few more well I'm definitely going to use up the rest of the muslin and then I have this old um, it's either a sheet I cut in half I was trying to make a, a plain curtain or uh, maybe it was an old curtain but it's just a beigey color uh, plain fabric that I'm going to cut and make some more as well so and I think no those for the wind but what else I've made bags I didn't realize I chat a lot but I made one of these. This is the placemat bag that I made. I pull it out, but it's a mess over there. Um, I made the box bag for all my needles, my circular needles. So I finally made the um, just the pouch, the zipper pouch out of that. And there's nothing um, because of the way it's constructed. When you cut the um, when you cut the, what do you call it, words, oh my goodness, when you cut the gusset to make the box corner, uh, you get raw edges, and because I can't figure out how to properly do my zigzag, where it's not snagging all over my machine, I just put a little bit of fabric around the raw edges, so it turned out looking, I think, quite nice in there. I can put that back down. So I think so, and I like the feel of it. As the box bag, it's not sturdy, but I like the feel it gave for um, for this one. So there's that, and then I used the last of my um, sugar skull fabric, and I made a zipper um, and a drawstring bag. So, and this one I totally forgot to put my regular um, tag on it, but I have these. Uh, tags I actually I think I printed these on I bought this fabric -y kind of paper that you can print on ages ago and I had made these so I just sewed it on the outside so I usually have my tag on the side so and then I tried because this cord phrase I um, I sewed a little bit of the fabric so this is actually the um, the bits that I cut for the corners, I saved it, and I used it. So there's one, and then the other one I got, uh, that was my, and this is the tag that I usually put there, but yeah, I was able to get one zipper, and I had no fabric left, but I had a little bit left, so I put this in. Um, so you can hang things on on the inside yep. so that's that before I go on I have to say a huge thank you though to everyone who's been interested in the bags and who've contacted me and who've actually purchased um, like I said at this point I have no plans on doing like big bag updates or anything like that or having bags in the store I'm just trying to work through all this fabric that I seem to have amassed that I didn't realize and even the ones I just went out and bought a few weeks back um, so I'm just making them and if you're interested um, and they're up for sale hit me up message typically Instagram's better to um, get hold of me because I'm there constantly uh, but so other than these two that I showed and this those, those three are what I have still available. 
um, everything else has been um, has been sold and a few of them will be shipped out tomorrow since today's a holiday but the other thing I had I had a little bit of scrap fabric of this and it's so bright and cheery and it just I love it I'm pretty sure I made myself I thought I made myself a bag out of this I may have um, gifted it at some point I know I did but I had a little bit of the fabric left so I made this tiny little I think it's like a 5 by 8 size pouch and I gifted um, a little pouch out of scrap um, alpaca fabric to somebody at work and she wanted me to make her another bag um, I think she's gifting it to her sister so so there's that little one and I used um, this is just jute I use from the dollar store because I was looking for a small um, cord and I couldn't find any readily available so there's that there's another one that I made that I've already gifted and it was a little shorter and wider than this so hello hi is he handsome oh, I have a question are you, to me yeah are do you, I am I gonna have to cut this out uh, it's not anything bad okay ask away do you plan say, to, say hi to the people first hi hello you just got a haircut yesterday so look at that I don't like that though are you going anyway. to the store at all today? I wasn't I, planning on it. I need to. Can you take me to the store? And can I drive? Can right. I also drive to work? Listen to how mature I sound. Can I drive? Can I drive to work? It doesn't help when you say listen to how mature I sound. Go away. But, as soon as I'm done, please go away. Okay. It can go to like Walmart or somewhere close. I don't need to do anywhere special. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. That's the only other thing that oh, I've made. Oh, Octo. This is from this never-ending skein of the Red Heart Brights, which is being blown out. And I'm trying to use it up to make Octo. So this is number th three or four out of there. So that's that. Oh, I'm just going to put it away, but I need to put my button on it. And... One more, hang on. Okay, I have one more cactus that I made. So this is one, two, three, I think this is the fourth one. So yeah, and I just, this wasn't part of the pattern, but I had a little scrap left of, I forget what, oops. I forget what, um, still trying to focus on me. Come on. No. Anyway, um, I forget what that was. Anyway, I had it and I thought it would go perfect on here. It's a little too big for this because I modified the base from what their pattern said. And yeah, so that's that. And I've just today broken two of these from moving things too fast. So I'll leave that right there. And that's that. Um, yeah, I gotta keep cleaning over there. I'll, I'll put in hopefully pictures of my cleaning attempts so far. So just three shelves out of a lot. And I still have all my cakes are stacked up, but there are a few that have no home. So I have to, I was hoping to get it all on one shelf and that, that didn't happen. So we shall see. One more. Hang on. More Columbo moment. Hang on. Okay. I forgot two things. Two, two, two. I picked up on Friday or Saturday. I do not recall. Um, Saturday, I think. Ah. Mm. I picked up my darn good yarn box. And I think I'm going to end it by the summer and just make something out of all of these because, to be honest, it's it's a nice little bundle, yeah. but it's not, I have a use for it, and I have you know too much stuff over there. So this is recycled silk, super bulky yarn, Catskill Fireworks. Calls for a eight to twelve millimeter 
knitting needle and a 9 to 15 millimeter crochet hook. And no, I would say an 8 or 9, if that. Maybe a K hook if you want a nice tight gauge. Not that big though. No, not even a 9, unless you want something drapey. Anyway, what came this time? Catskill Cozy. And it is uh, Cozy. Catskill Cozy. And there's no picture this time. Is there? Of what it is? No. Oh, yes, it is. Oh. Nah. I'll pass. This is what it looks like. Come on. Look at this. I apologize for the poor lighting today. Nothing wants to focus. So, yeah, not interested in the cozy. And then the other thing that came in was... Crafting Hand Solve. I thought it was a lip balm. But... It's just a little, looks like a lip balm, but I guess it's for hands. No real smell to it. We'll see. Hmm. Shea butter, olive oil, beeswax, unrefined hemp, hemp seed oil, cocoa butter, manuka honey, and comfrey leaves extract oil. Do not ingest, I should hope. All right, so that's that. So, my random act of sharing. And I know that there are changes. Um, I don't know if it's changes or more scrutiny or awareness of the rules around giveaways. It's quite intimidating. Um, maybe the next one I will put more of a blurb but just to say this is solely sponsored by yours truly Laurel of the dabbling hook not by YouTube not by any of its other affiliates um, you must be 13 years or older to enter your country of origin if there are any other taxes or penalties or fees um, levied on gifts you receive that will be your responsibility and please make sure that you're able to receive things in your country before you enter okay having said that this time up for grabs is one of the CC originals hmm. Canadian crotchita 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 Canadian crotchita Miss Debbie this is one of her bags and I know quite a few people had commented when I first shown this one um, with the birds. I love the color combinations on the birds though. So these are the birds that are on there. Aren't they pretty? So it's a gray background with flowers, gray flowers, and then the birds on it with the tab top drawstring. And the inside is lined with a really bright, which is not showing up correctly, but a chartreuse neon -y green color quite cheerful and it's a pretty good size I'd say maybe like a 12 by 14 something like that with a very long cord so since this is a random act of sharing there's no real but just for discussion sake no real you don't have to enter anything um, just, you, you do have to comment something below because I will do a random comment picker to pick you, but just for sharing kicks and giggles, what do you plan on doing for the start of this, the unofficial start of summer? Um, I'm hoping we get out a little more. We always plan and never happen, so I'm hoping, I'm so looking forward to vacation though. So looking forward to vacation. <sighs> our trip to DC just reinforced that we need to get away a little more or just like unplug and, and do things even though in DC they did have their 
phones and we all had that, but it was still like just getting away and unplugging. So what do you plan on doing? How many barbecues do you guys plan on? We do a lot of grilling on the weekends, Saturdays, Sundays. Um, yeah, because you can't turn the stove, the oven, and all that stuff on. It's just too hot. And we don't have central AC, so it's just the window units and all. So it's just too hot. Plus, I don't like cooking anyway. So anyway, what do you plan on doing this summer? Let us know. Share. Give us ideas. But, like I said, you don't have to say anything specific to enter. Just say hi. Just so you're... Um, you're in the comments and if you want to say hi if you want to and if you want to win Debbie's bag and um, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye